Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This morning we're going to start out uh, the day with some character faces. So enjoy! <laughs> All right, so this morning I'm gonna be working on Bristol board with the Koenor Progresso pencil. I've been using this a lot just because it's easy and quick. And I really like the um, the overall feel of the Koenor pencil on the Bristol board. And the fact that it's woodless, I can get nice variation of line weight as well as if I need to shade it all. And I forgot my glasses. All right, so it's always good that I can see. Sorry about that. All right, so why do I do a lot of faces? Well, it reestablishes that thing in my brain um, as far as expression and, you know, also drawing from imagination. You know, it really die, helps me dive deep into that process of creating things, um, you know, as a, as a character artist. <clears throat> so... What I like to do, typically you guys know that I start out with just a simple circle, and then I think of just basic shapes, moving into, you know, what the character trait, what the character has as far as traits go, what kind of character they are, um, and basically, you know, creating the character uh, to, uh, you know, have that idea come across in a clear way. Um, so this particular character is going to be kind of a, more of a stronger, kind of like a road warrior character. So if I do that, then therefore it has to be kind of a strong character, uh, in terms of strength. So a lot of times, you know, you'll have a smaller brain <laughs> with a larger jaw and, uh, you know, smaller, uh, deep set eyes to kind of give it, you know, that, that kind of not evil quality, but <clears throat> that easy read. Okay. So you guys know that, uh, you know, we're all having to deal with, you know, the whole virus thing right now. And, you know, I, I started thinking as far as opportunities for those of you guys that have to stay home, you know, if you work at home and what an incredible opportunity it is right now for us to really kind of examine, you know, what we, always have wanted to do, you know, maybe you wanted to always start some type of a, a YouTube channel, you know, right now is a great time to do it. Or you wanted to, let's say, do some sculpting or some painting. Right now is a great opportunity to do it because we are, most of us anyway, <clears throat> are relegated to being uh, at home in a house or in an apartment or somewhere. So definitely take advantage of the time that you have, you know, to get some stuff done, clean house, right? Um, <clears throat> so you guys notice that I don't really have a sharp tip and I do have other pencils here ready to go. Um, but I like to keep things really broad in the beginning. All right, so let's do this. Have that neck muscle really come back. Okay. Have that cheekbone come here. And then we've got the side of his cheeks here. Right, and then he's got that part right there. Too, you know, whenever I start doing this, you, you notice that I'm moving around a lot. I don't stay in one spot too long just because I get bored with one area pretty quickly and then I have to move on. But what it does is it teach me, it teach me, it, te it teaches me to look at the piece as a whole instead of individual parts. Now, even though I start out with a circle and I've got an idea of what I want to do, I think it's important that you know, we, we basically make sure that we keep reaffirming that idea 
of what we're trying to do in the context of the piece. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I have his teeth combined. Yes. He's showing his teeth. Right. Have that come in. I want that jaw and that, that chin to be strong. So it, that mouth needs to come around, come up. He's got kind of a dimpled chin. Comes like this. All right. Okay. And here's that jawline right there. Maybe he's kind of a, an ogre. Road warrior kind of. type creature. Okay, come back in. And then we have this huge muscle that comes down in his neck. Here's where Adam's apple occurs. So we have that come here. Adam's apple, a little dimple right there. Then the muscle comes around. And then we have this. Maybe he's a soldier of some kind. Comes back. He's got his ear. A little bit sharper here. It's gonna be a different shade, kind of a different, just a different color. Okay. So let's say he's I don't want to do a cyborg. Does that come in? He's got this wrinkle that kind of comes around here like that. Now I'm starting to give him a little bit more detail. So now that I've fleshed in the majority of the piece, I can start determining what little elements that I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to bring. So let's do. Okay, so basically, I'll have this come around. So I'm gonna have this kind of like a, a ear protection. of hair that comes out right there doesn't look like somebody you'd want to mess with right doesn't look like somebody that reads books to children right and now I'm going back and I'm kind of re you know reevaluating as far as what I want this piece to be and what this character is Right, just got a strap that comes here. Maybe he's a you know something to do with the space core or something. And this is his that inner sock they put on the space helmets, right? bad okay all right now we're gonna go in a completely different direction uh, I don't do a lot of females so let's do a female let's get a little band-aid over his nose maybe he's recently been in a fight Give him some 
package. Needs to go to the dentist. <laughs> And being a warm-up, I'm not going to sit there and render this. We're only doing a two faces today because the amount of work that I have, which is <laughs> pretty fun and interesting. I, you know, I noticed this last time we had a, a large financial event, you know, that happened. I remember back in 2008, <clears throat> 2006, 2008, you know, and, and what happens a lot of times whenever you have events like this, such as the whole virus thing, is a lot of companies reevaluate their particular lineup, you know, whether it's products or whatever, and they start needing artists like me to redo their product line. And so, which is very, you know, good. It's like when the economy is good, then, you know, my business is fantastic. Cause again, people spend their money and they want to redo, you know, their line to get more product out there. And then whenever you have a financial situation like this, the companies reevaluate uh, you know, where they are at that particular point in time. And they say, oh, maybe we need to change stuff. So then again, you know, I get a lot of business, which is really, you know, really good for me. Um, but I definitely feel I've been on that side, you know, where, you know, you don't know where your next <clears throat> paycheck is going to come from. And a lot of times, you know, you start definitely thinking, you know, maybe this isn't for me, but stick with it. Because definitely, if, if you create good stuff and you stick with it, then eventually it'll all work out. Just don't give up. Right now, it's not a time to give up. So, okay. So now we're going to move on to doing a... I want to do a female, but I don't really feel like it. Um, okay, so we will. Okay, so let's do here. Okay. Again, really working in broad <clears throat> shapes and ideas, not really landing on anything in particular other than a shape that I think will work for what I'm doing. Okay. 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 Goes more or less right here. I know it looks like a big mess, but for some reason, you know, the way that I work, this works best for me because I keep you know, I'm trying to feel out my forms and shapes, especially working from, you know, imagination. A lot of times it doesn't come right away. Okay. So we'll come here. Okay. It just works for me. It may not work for you. You know, I've seen I've seen some artists that have that ability to really visualize things very quickly. Um, a lot of times, it takes me just a little bit longer, and that's okay because it works for me. You know, my methodology doesn't necessarily work. Um, you know, it's not going to work for everybody. So. All right, so now I want to go in and rough in the eyes. I like usually doing this, this eye first, and then I'll move on to this eye because this eye, whenever this, you know, if you look at it, she's looking at us and then her head's tilted toward us. So what's going to happen is this eye is going to be lower and this eye is going to be higher. <clears throat> I need to sharpen my pencil. Okay, 
So what I like to do, and two, you know, you don't want to put too many lines here on the female because what happens is if you start putting all these lines in, it'll age. It'll age the drawing. It'll, it'll make the female look much older than, you know, you want her to. And that isn't necessarily a good thing. And two, I like to draw through and know where the back of the head is because it helps, it helps me place the, um, <clears throat> the images where they need to be. If that makes sense, the elements. Okay. Okay. Here, so I'm gonna have that eyelid come up. The eyelid comes around. And this is where digital really helps out uh, if you were to work digitally, because I would flip the drawing just to make sure that I knew, you know, in terms of perspective where things are correct. And two, so now that I've got this kind of fleshed in, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put this inner line. I'm gonna go ahead and put her pupil in. Here, I'm going to color this in slightly, and then what I'm going to do, no eye shine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go over her nose bridge, and then this is where sometimes it gets a little tricky. <clears throat> so I'm going to have that part of her nose. Okay, so I'm going to go up. What you can do is you can continue this line right here, here, comes around, and that'll give you basically the placement of where the lower part of the eye goes. And then you bring this up, okay? This goes here, and it goes over and under. And now what I'm gonna do, bring this up. Under. Good. This eyebrow needs to be up higher. Okay. And then I want this hat to come around. It's bunched like that. Okay, and I don't even think I got this eye right. Let me do it down a little bit. So it needs to come down, it needs to be down here. That's okay. I'll just have this right here. Okay. There we go. And a lot of times it's a feeling. You'll look at something and you go, gosh, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. You know? Okay, here, I, I, <clears throat> got that one eyelash, we're going to have dark here, it's going to be dark here, okay, dark here, Adjusting, kind of comparing. I don't even think that's right. I'm not really happy with that, but you know what? At this point, I can't really do anything about it. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to have the mouth it comes here. I'll color this in. You know. why I don't do a lot of females 
I'm not that good at it. Of course, you would think after all the times that I've spoke to you guys about doing things and practicing on things that you're not really good at, that I would dive into doing more females, but I do a lot of animals and character animals and stuff and have my hair come out here. Okay. Good. All right, here's that. I think her jaw needs to come down slightly, a little bit right here. Okay, so now I go back and I start. You notice that I haven't done a mouth yet <laughs> because the mouth is hard, or at least for me it is. It's, it's just challenging, right? I think anything's challenging for me um, when it comes to drawing. You know, whenever I first started out in this game, it was just challenging, you know? It's a, it's a challenging thing to do. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now we're gonna have her mouth. Here, here, okay. A lot of times it helps you to just put in something simple. Even that simple line will help you. Because her cheeks go up, so I want that to be a little bit higher, but it's gonna be hidden, so it's gonna go like this, right? Have that come out like this. Okay, the mouth's gonna be slightly open. Here, down. Yeah, I see the lips always give me a challenge. Here. I always mess them up. Okay. And we're going to come around with the bigger bottom lip. Okay. And then it's going to come on down. Okay. And we're going to come in. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do, since I've got pretty much the majority of it leveled in here, up and around and now I can basically push a little bit harder and it helps define these shapes a little bit better as I go in okay go ahead and do this all right this comes out just slightly okay now it's gonna come like this and this comes around nicely. And then, just to help define positioning, I'm gonna shade this upper lip. Okay. And then I'm going to darken some of the areas, like right here, a little thing right there. Again, I don't, I don't want to go in and put a bunch of lines all over the place because I guarantee if I do that, it'll age her, and I want to keep her around 20 thinking of the age okay all right so she's got kind of a toboggan toque whatever you want to call it um a wintry hat on you know okay give her a little bit of darkness in her eyeball right there and then I want to bring up this, this eyelid slightly. And I'm going to shade in here to kind of give her that smoky eye effect. Right? Okay. All right. So now I'm going to come here. Let that ball will come a little bit further out. And then we're going to have it come here. And then it's kind of buckled under. up and then down have that opposing curve to reaffirm that other curve that's right here right nothing okay 
And she's got kind of a turtleneck on, so let's give her a little turtleneck. And then maybe her coat right here. Put that in silhouette. And you want to continue that line. See her neckline comes here. Okay, it comes here. I don't want it to be right there. It's it's just very simple. So if I would have put that jacket line down here, it would have interfered with that neckline that I know is there because I can see it where I partially drew her neckline. So I want to have that come down and be just a continual line right there. Have her hair come up. Okay, I'm gonna darken this in right here. There we go. So now we put that here, okay. And darken that in at the bottom slightly. Maybe darken this in slightly. Okay. Good, put this in silhouette. And I think as I bring this forward, Go ahead and darken in these eyebrows slightly. It will help. Darken in her hair too. Let me do this other eyebrow. For those of you interested, if you go to Amazon.com and search Michael Clear to Illustration, you should be able to pull up some of the Amazon merch uh, items that I have for sale. I know this is the time to kind of chill so do it after everything is chilled out as far as this whole virus um, pandemic thing goes on you know definitely save your pennies for what you need to save it for when everything you know kind of pans out and kind of goes in the direction of a normal of normalcy Okay, so we're gonna do that and reaffirm that it is a little fluff ball. And we're gonna put some value in here. Okay. Maybe this. Maybe a little beauty mark right there. There we go. Okay. So I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. Just a simple warm-up of a couple character faces. <clears throat> um, definitely, you know, if you have the opportunity and you are stuck at home, sit down and try something new, you know? I think what I'm going to do is, before the end of the week, I'm going to break out my clay. And I'm going to do a short video on clay. And do something different, right? It's always important that, you know, during these times we keep our mind occupied because if we don't and we keep feeding on all of the news and the negativity, it will affect you. You think it probably won't, but it will. You know, be positive, stay positive. All this is going to pass. Everybody will be fine. You know, you'll be fine. I say everybody will be fine, but, you know, that's hopeful, you know. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe and share. Be positive, stay positive. You know, I know this is a different time. I'll try to make as many videos as I can as my business permits. Definitely keep drawing, keep creating, keep being a light in the world. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. Bye.